welcome back to another Fun Friday episode of HGTV Handmade with me, Anne. For today's video, we are going to be making some personalized journals. This is a great way to give gifts for your friends or for family or just for yourself. So let's get started. Here are a few fun goodies that I picked up from my local craft store. I have an assortment of letters and decorative stickers, as well as stencils and metallic paint. If you will be using stencils, then I suggest for you to get a spray repositioning adhesive for this. This will make the job a lot easier and it will prevent paint from seeping through. And of course, if you're using paint, then you will need some paint brushes. Lastly, have some blank journals that you don't mind decorating. So before we get started, make sure to take some rubbing alcohol and clean the surfaces of your journals. This will reassure that you have a clean surface from any dirt or grease from your fingers. The first easy way to personalize your journal is with stencils. To do this, it's good to have repositioning adhesive. This will keep the stencil in place and not leave any yucky residue on your surface. So all you have to do here is spray on a light layer of the adhesive onto your desired stencil. Then let this set for one minute for it to become tacky. After your minute or two is up, go ahead and place that stencil onto your desired area on where you would like this to go. Now with a foam brush or a small brush, dab on the paint or you can simply make smaller strokes inside within the cutting area. Once you're complete with your painting job, go ahead and slowly peel off the stencil before the paint dries. If you want to add another design close to your stencil area or on top of it, make sure that your paint dries completely before doing so. For this notebook, I'm going to add on this really neat uh, sticker chalkboard that I found from my local craft store. And I just love the way this looks all together. I think what I'm going to do next is take a metallic sharpie and draw in a word that inspired me. You can also freestyle your design by sketching out your drawing directly onto the cover of the notebook. So here as you can see, I had a feather in mind, so I just simply took my pen out, draw the silhouette, and then took out my brush and paint over this. Afterward, I decided that I wanted to turn this into a peacock feather, and so that's what I did. I just made my own version of how a peacock feather would look and play around with some colors that I liked. If you're not sure what you want to make, I suggest for you to draw your design onto a plain piece of paper before doing this directly onto the notebook. For an abstract or playful pattern, try using masking tape and taping it onto areas where you don't want the paint to go. And where there's no tape, then you can just paint into that area. For this last design, I made my own decal to stick onto the notebook and it turned out so lovely. If you want to learn how to make your own decal, I have a tutorial on that on my main channel, Anna Shine. There are endless ideas on how you can personalize your journals for you or for someone. I hope you enjoy this video and have fun creating. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also let me know what other things you would like for me to personalize that is already in your household. I would love to hear what you have to say and I will talk to you next Friday. Bye.